Busby was no ordinary mosquito. In the heart of a sunlit garden, he hovered amidst vibrant blooms and a gentle summer breeze. He was consumed not by the usual mosquito cravings, but by the rhythm of words that danced in his mind, poetry about the beauty surrounding him. While lost in thought, Busby found himself drifting towards Mr. Thompson, a grumpy gardener tending to his plants. Startled, Mr. Thompson swatted at him with a newspaper. Busby darted away just in time, the sudden gust nearly toppling him midair. So rude, he buzzed angrily, resolving to pen a scathing verse about the encounter. Busby settled at the edge of a serene pond, the water reflecting the afternoon sun. He pondered the incident, realizing with chagrin that Mr. Thompson's reaction was simply self-defense. Perhaps not all humans are ill-natured, he mused, as the ripples in the pond calmed his thoughts. As the garden's flora swayed gently, Busby noticed other small creatures, bees, butterflies, and dragonflies, each absorbed in their own tasks. He realized that every creature had a story to tell. This is what poetry is about, he thought, inspired by the harmony and diversity around him. Returning to the garden path, Busby mustered courage to approach Mr. Thompson again, this time landing cautiously on a nearby bench. The gardener, noticing his tiny visitor, watched with a mix of curiosity and amusement. You're a bold little fellow, he remarked, his face softening into a smile. As the evening glow bathed the garden in a golden hue, Busby felt a sense of unity with Mr. Thompson and the garden's inhabitants. He completed his poem, a tribute to the unexpected friendships and shared moments that transcended differences. Even the small